I swear there is someone in the world for everyone here. Wasn't Olive like obsessed with Popeye? But look at him, don't tell me he don't look a crackhead. If you had to see him walking through Walmart, you would for sure think he's on drugs. Like, hmm, look at her, went into him. Nah, though, mm -mm. And his grammar. I has got an idea. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Bambi by Fashion and today I'll be showing you how to make this oversized shirt into a midi skirt. We're going to first start off by removing the neckline. Now I'm laying the shirt flat and I'm going to just cut from right there where I'm, well right here where you can see, from the underarm seam straight up to the neckline corner. I turn the shirt inside out, I'm pinning it and I'm just going to sew that seam down till it matches the side seam of the shirt. Well, now with the skirt. So I'm just going to stitch right down along those pins. And this is how it looks. Now, I don't like how curvy the top part is. It's not going to look good on your body having it curved like that. Well, I mean, if you want it curvy like that, like a U-shape, you can go ahead and do it, but I'm making mine a bit straighter and because my base is bigger than my neckline, I cut it a little deeper down. But this is a shirt from, this is a piece of fabric I should say, from one of the black shirts I used before. So I cut a strip the length of my waist. I made it two and a half inches height. Now I'm going to stop right here and say if you have no worries about your shirt stretching out, and if it will be easy for you to pull your skirt on and off, then all you have to do is sew the end of the waistband closed and attach it to the top of the skirt without having to cut a center back, like what I'm about to do. But because my waist is smaller than my hips, I don't think I would be able to get the skirt on comfortably without my fabric stretching right out. So right here I'm just finding the center back and I'm going to cut straight up the back of the skirt. As I said before, you can skip this step and just add the waistband to the skirt without having to do a center back, but this is how I'm doing it. So I'm just adding the entire strip folded in half to the top of the waistband. So it's folded and I'm just pinning it to the top and then I'm going to sew it down. After that's been stitched, I chose an elastic, the length of my waist, minus like an inch or so. And I'm literally just going to stick it right through our waistband and secure the ends with a stitch. Actually, don't skip this step. If you're not doing the zipper at the back, put on the waistband and put the elastic inside of it. That would be better than adding the zipper. So it'll fit snug at the waist without stretching out. I should have thought about that before, but clearly I did not. I'm adding a 6 inch invisible zipper and I know y'all don't really care about this part so I'm just going to insert it and sew the seam straight down when I'm done and we'll continue to the rest of the skirt. Here is the zipper done! Look at that! Clean! Okay, open. Clean! It's at this point that we try on the skirt and we make any adjustments that need to be made so I'm just going to fix the side seam but then I'm going to stop since it is away from the bottom of the skirt. So basically fit it that like you're going to make a bodycon skirt but then stop 6 inches away from the bottom. Just stop the stitch right there. Don't do anything else. This is it stitch. Now just watch what I'm doing. I'm going to cut straight across right here like half an inch away from the bottom of the stitch and then we're going to cut off the excess from the side seam. This is how it should look so far. So right now we're just going to go to the very edge corner of our fabric and we're going to cut straight up to that line. As you can see I did that really quickly, I'm sorry. But it's just going to be like a, like a diagonal cut from the bottom corner of the skirt to the corner where we just sewed. 
prepare the sleeves. You thought we forgot about those sleeves, huh? Nope. We're going to keep the sleeves and we're going to cut up that underarm seam. Then we're going to sprawl it open and we're going to figure out what to do. <laughs> Get the bottom of the skirt and open it as wide as you can open it. Well, the wider you open it, the more flounce the bottom of the skirt will have. So open it as wide as you can and put the sleeve under the skirt and just mark where the end both ends and then the top corner is going to hit. Oh, but before we do that, I remove the hem from the sleeve and about two inches of it from the bottom of the skirt. Then we're going to go back through, fiddle around with it, and then we're going to mark the bottom again. So here I'm pinning the bottom corner of the skirt on one side, on the other side, and then the direct corner top part. And then I'm going to use the ruler to draw the lines, and that's going to be our inside piece. I guess it would be a godet. Is that how you pronounce it? A godet? A godet? A godot? A god godet? Something? Okay, but we're going to copy it to the other sleeve. I have no idea what I am doing. As usual, so bearable. Then we're going to pin it to the inside of our slit of our skirt. And so in, we're going to go up one side, stop, do a little back stitch, and then go down the other side. So you get the, the fabric that's here, you scoot it under like that, and you wiggle around the one that's under here. You should probably clip it before, but you could clip it afterwards, I, I guess. And just wiggle it, make sure there's nothing else under there. Pull that down. And continue. Hold on. And you just continue down. This is how it looks. So now we're going to go inside of the skirt by the top corner right there and we're going to cut little slits, like one or two little slits just to release some of the fabric. We're not cutting any of the seam or anything, just like a little slit and then we release the fabric from puckering. So right there, snip! And snip! And then when you turn it on the right side again, it should look pretty much better. Now at the bottom, we're going to cut off any excess. I'm doing mine in a, li a little curve. I don't know why I did it like this, but I did it like it. <laughs> I did it like it. I did it like this because I wanted to. So now I'm just going to hem it over and following the original hemline of the shirt, I'm just going to stitch it down and our skirt will be done. Look at that, look at that, look at that, it's so cute, oh my god, our skirt is Dunsies, yes! Shining, shining like a diamond, I see, I see people watching, perfect, our glass timing, good things come to those who wait.